Hello everyone, Russ Elkins here. I took this image on the street. It was it had a lot of earth tones going on. And the girl had white shoes on, and so it just didn't fit. And so I thought I would make a tutorial on correcting that and some ways of doing that. Um, today, I want to correct that by taking the colors from the shirt and applying that to the shoes, at least for the white part anyway. So let's get started. I'm going to press Command J to replicate my background layer. And I want to zoom in on the sandals, which is the white that we need to correct. And I'm going to use and select this Quick Mask tool. Let's do a, select the brush first and click on the Quick Mask tool. And start painting in where I want my selection to be. And that's close enough. So to form the selection, I want to click on the Quick Mask tool again. That forms the selected area. And now what I want to do is to press Command-J again to put that selection on its own layer. I want to go to Layer, Layer Mask from Transparency. So now I've created a layer mask of the sandals. Let's zoom out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection on part of the blouse area. I'm going to go back to my base layer and press Command J. And that's going to put that on its own layer. What I want to do is I want to move that area over the sandal area. So let's go to Edit, Free Transform. Get the sandal area covered. That's pretty good. Now what I want to do is apply the mask to that. Remove the other layer. That was the selection layer. I want to change my blend mode to multiply. And what I could do with my brush, if I want to remove these white spots, they could very well really be there on the sandals from highlights in the edge of the sandal. But if I wanted to remove them, I could use my brush, select the mask, and slowly paint. And again, I can press the X key to switch from my foreground and background color. So again, I could press X and paint away. To add a little highlights in the sandal. Let's go and zoom out on this image. That looks pretty good. I think what I want to do is to lower its opacity some. I'm 
Makes it look a little more natural. So there you have it. Let's press Shift Option Command E to create a merge visible layer. And take a look at our before. That's our before. And that's our after. Thanks for watching.